Have you ever wondered what impact does ultraviolet radiation coming from the sun has on Earth's climate? Well, we are with Thierry de Duc de Vuit from the University of Orléans. Mm -hmm. Thierry, good evening. Hello. You're an expert on solar terrestrial physics. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what is solar UV radiation? Now, the sun emits different types of uh, radiation, which we characterize by their, their wavelength. And uh, we know, all know about visible light because this is something we can see with our eyes. And then you have infrared radiation, which we feel like heat. And finally, there's this tiny part, which is called uh, ultraviolet radiation, which we can't see with our eyes. But it does play an important role in, um, in, in, in climate studies. Now, if, if you start looking at the sun with your eyes, um, be careful, of course, you will see a, a yellowish featureless ball that has maybe a few sunspots on it. But as soon as you start looking at the sun with a telescope that is sensitive to this UV radiation, you get a completely different picture. And this quiet sun turns into a violent and highly active beast. Yeah, but you said that uh, UV is only just a small part of the spectrum from yes. coming from the sun. So if it's just such a small part, how can it be very important? So now the big question, of course, is does this ultraviolet radiation have any impact on, on climate? Now, before you can answer this question, you have to answer another one, which is to understand how does UV radiation um, impact the, affect the Earth's atmosphere? Now, as it turns out, uh, visible light and infrared, infrared radiation mostly heats the Earth and the oceans around us, so it has no impact on the atmosphere. Ultraviolet radiation, on the other hand, gets mostly absorbed higher up. And one of the consequences is the, the production of ozone in the, in the famous ozone layer. Now, this ozone if, is going through a whole chain of different physical and chemical processes. This ozone is eventually going to affect climate. And interestingly, um, the impact on climate is going to be mostly regional. And it looks like that this impact is going to be stronger in specific areas like Europe. This is something that has been tested in models and reproduced in models. And this is also something that has been observed in different climate records. So we, we know fairly well how UV radiation interacts with the atmosphere. So that was our first question. Now let us come back to the most important one is can this impact global warming observed in the late 1950s? And before answering, <laughs> let me tell you that there are different um, difficulties here. First of all, um, this impact of solar radiation is small, it's very small. It's so small that it gets hidden in the natural variability of the climate system. So you need to do a lot of statistics in order to understand and to determine if it's going to be significant. That's one thing. The other thing is that in order to understand if it does play any role at all, um, you need to measure the UV radiation very accurately. And unfortunately, we don't have any direct observations before the 1990s. So what we need to do instead is to reconstruct solar activity before that by using indirect observations, like using the sunspot number and different things like that. And this is a big task, and many people are working on that. And finally, when you bring all these different pieces together, you get a big puzzle that takes, takes shape. And this puzzle, as it is today, it is clearly indicating that UV radiation does have a significant impact on climate. We do see it in observations, in, in climate model simulations. But as far as it is today, this impact is not strong enough to explain global warming since the late 1990s. And the impact of uh, greenhouse gases is much more important. Yeah, but how yeah. would it be important to climate? So because of this high variability, UV eventually is changing the state of the atmosphere locally. And uh, this, this, of course, affects climate. Now, the point is that in order to assess this, to quantify this, because you cannot go up at, at these altitudes, uh, we need models on, on the first case in order to understand what is going on.
but we also need very accurate measurements from space, from satellites. And today, most of these measurements do not fully agree. So depending on which option you're taking, which observation you're taking, you may end up with slightly different conclusions regarding the impact on climate. So, so it's, it's still an active field of research. It is. It is a very hot topic. And now, today we know that it does have a significant impact. We cannot quantify it exactly. I mean, there are still some unknowns in it, but we know it is significant. However, it's most likely going to be very small as compared to man-made global warming. Well, thank you very much, Thierry. You're welcome.